Hello, my name is Joe Brumfield, Senior Director with ASED. Our team is dedicated to partnering with you to create custom solutions for all of your professional learning needs. On behalf of your friends here at ASED, I'd like to welcome you to ASED Webbies. Our Webbies are short clips created by our faculty members to highlight strategies to help educators deliver virtual instruction. Join us every Friday to learn and share some creative ways to deliver instruction with engaging online tools. Our Webbies will be released every Friday on social media accounts as well as ASED streaming. Follow the hashtag ASED Faculty Friday to view our latest releases. Enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Christina Dubay. I teach at James Madison University and I teach pre-service teachers. Um, I also work very closely with teachers um, in the field, so I'm in classrooms a lot. And um, a lot of those schools are working on um, project-based learning. Today we'll feature the tool Trello.com. Um, and this is a new site for me and I'm excited to share what I've learned about it. This tool is a great way um, to help students who are working on uh, progress, uh, project-based learning keep track of their progress. Um, so today, my goal for you guys is to see how to use Trello to monitor student progress in completing a multifaceted performance task or project, um, and to do that in an online setting. Um, Trello is really designed for business, not for schools, but project-based learning is starting to mimic what's happening in the world of work. And so it makes sense that a business tool would work in a classroom too. It essentially functions as an online scrum board. And scrum boards are used in project-based learning classrooms to keep track of things. This is an example from our book and you'll see that there are, um, we've got different teams here and these little, uh, little sticky notes are called sprints. Um, and it represents the little, the mini tasks or the, the parts of the tasks that need to get done in pursuit of the project. So these are the things the pink group has done, the things they're working on right now, and the things that they still have left to do. So keeping this up helps the teacher see how each of these groups of doing, are doing. They can look over here and see the yellow group, I think is lagging behind. I might need to jump in with that group and help them. So super, super helpful. Um, I had one of these, but just for everybody was doing the same project in my class. And then we went online and I was like, what am I going to do? Um, and that is when I found, I was doing some reading and I found Trello online. And this was my first Trello board where I um, put, I divided up the tasks, um, what we needed to do in our assessment project and put it in the same kind of thing. This is done. This is what you should be working on right now. And this is what we still have to do. We haven't done that yet. Um, it's been very, very helpful, but I've, I've, branched out since then. So I want us to um, explore a little bit. I'm going to share um, a, the, my Trello boards with you. This is one of the ones I used for my um, middle school uh, uh, motivation and management class. It's a seminar and that we really work on classroom management. And so I can, you can call these columns whatever you want to. I called this one done. This was before break. And so I put all of the parts of the project that should have been done before break because we went online after break. Um, and then after break, this was the first things that we completed, the, these first two things. These were supposed to be in progress and then this is to do. So after then we talked about um, student interest um, and doing it, designing choice-based projects, we moved that over there. Um, move that over there because it was done. This is still in progress because it was kind of the professionalism part of the thing. This stayed in progress until the very last day that they turned it in, which was actually yesterday. Um, as we moved, we learned about this, we moved it there. As it was supposed to be done, I moved it here. When we learned about this, I moved it here, like I said. When it was supposed to be done, I moved it over here. Um, and so on and so forth, so that this was the only thing that was left until they turned in the project. Um, that worked really well. Um, here is an example of um, a, something that you can do. This is a smaller assignment that I was working on with a different class. Um, and it, it allows you, again, to call these anything you want. You can add other titles. You can keep doing that as far as you want to. Um, this indicates there's some more detail here. So if we look at this, I said you'll be administering these test questions as a formative assessment because we didn't have time to make a whole test because our, our timeline had been shut down. Um, you'll see here this not only does it have some extra lines, but it has an attachment. That's because I, um, can, you can add attachments to the Trello board. So here's their rubric for the assignment. 
it says write the paper, but I wasn't gonna put everything on this Trello board when I had already created it. Um, and so you can go to the att attachments and just see more about what they were supposed to do, um, et cetera. So that, has, that was really helpful um, for that class. The last thing I wanna show you is that um, my assessment project, um, I was doing the same thing with them, but I was like, what if this was a class that I actually teach in the fall um, and different groups are gonna be doing different things? And I was starting to panic a little bit, like how do you make this work? Because um, if you share this link with kids, they can move the, um, they can move the board. And so what I found is if you go over here to menu, um, you go to more, you can copy your board. And so I could make a copy of this for each of my different groups. I actually had the, this class working in different groups um, for a different project. And when I went for the title, it showed me these, it imported these from Canvas. That's a little creepy to me, but it turned out to be very helpful. So there you go, Trio 3, create. It basically copies the board. And then I can invite all of the students in Trio 3. I can add, put their three email addresses here, or I can do create a link and I can copy that and send it to Trio 3. And if we go back to my boards now, you'll see that there is a Trio 1, a copy for Trio 1, a copy for Trio 2, a copy for Trio 3, and I can make a copy um, for Trio 4 as well, simply by going over here to more, um, copying the board, and deciding that I want Trio 4 in there, or just typing in Trio 4 copying. Um, and now I have a version of this for each and they can do their own moving and I can come in here and say, how is Trio 4 doing? And when you start, of course, everything's over in the to-do column. Um, it looks a little overwhelming, um, but it's fun when you start moving. It's fun actually for me to see this looking done because it felt like it was, um, it was pulling teeth, <laughs> um, but um, students did great. So um, if we go back to our, um, our board. Uh, I hope that seeing that in action, I'd invite you to sign up for our account. The account is free. You can soup it up if you want to and get some more of those fun backgrounds, but you don't have to. You can just use the plain backgrounds like I did. Um, I feel like this is uh, the kind of thing that you just have to play around with, um, but if you get stuck and you need some help, please reach out. You can email me. You can, um, you can contact me through my website, um, and ASCD would love to hear from you as well. So thank you so much for um, learning with me today about Trello, and I wish you the best of luck.